Hi love, how are you? It is Wednesday morning today. Today we've got a homesome little home shopping vlog with Emma. We're gonna go out and we're gonna go to HomeSense. The Mothership. If you have not been to a HomeSense, I'm gonna count that as some sort of abuse. Walking into HomeSense is honestly like walking into 2013 YouTube, I'd say. It just captures that same magic. Disney? could never this lighting is really doing me so dirty me and olivia are moving into our new place in i don't know like two weeks i think it's really not that far away it's getting closer and closer honestly i thought the day would never come i've been so excited to move i'm kind of nervous but i think that's only normal who knew that shopping for mattress toppers towels glasses plates could be so exciting honestly i went to a couple of shops the other day i went to anthropology and i bought a couple mugs from anthropology i know i know this sort of behavior cannot carry on if i'm moving out because i cannot be affording to buy stupid little anthropology mugs because oh my god that shop you need to take out a small mortgage to buy a notebook I'll show you the stuff I've already got a little bit later on. Hopefully, I will have got a few more little bits. Honestly, I'm having to refrain so much from just buying absolutely everything. There's so much furniture I want to buy, so many things. I'm going to get a new bed, but I kind of I want to slow down the process so that I can film it for you guys. Honestly, I'm not even sure if anyone's going to be interested or like watch this video or watch this vlog because I know it's not my usual stuff, but I am such a sucker for homeware vlogs. When I like... I'm in the gym, in the gym, hasn't been to the gym in a month, which by the way, gyms are opening soon, in three days, very exciting, our flat has actually got a um, gym in the building, my Tammy Hembrow body is pending, just you wait, I say that, but we're gonna manifest it we're gonna manifest it literally me in bed at like 3 a.m manifesting that i'm gonna wake up with grace fitz bum but doesn't actually do anything to achieve grace fitz bum okay well that's a lie i did like two bum workouts and then it didn't do anything so i stopped it's so hard like doing two things at once trying to do my foundation and talk i dropped out of school i really don't have the brain power these sort of antics i promise i do have gcse's anyway as i was saying i watch these home like moving vlogs in the gym and i'm obsessed with like watching homeware hauls and seeing how people decorate their space i think your home tells you so much about a person okay wow we're really not going into the philosophy of how i'm gonna decorate my bedroom goodbye mr spot on my forehead he has honestly just been putting a real dampener on my day oh my god talking of dampeners on my day i literally nearly died yesterday I'm not even being dramatic, like cold sweats, lying on the bathroom floor. And before anyone asks, no, I am not Covidious. It was not coronavirus. I was just really bloated. <laughs> like me, I really hate dramatic people. I'm not dramatic. Also me lies on the floor shivering because she's bloated. But my bloating was like a next level blow. And I really wasn't being dramatic. Like don't tell me I was being dramatic because I wasn't. It was honestly the worst thing I've ever experienced in my life. I don't know what happened. I must have maybe eaten something. Honestly, to right now I'm still not sure. But I woke up yesterday morning and I was like, ow, uh, like my tummy hurt. It was like a bruising pain almost. It wasn't like a cramping pain. I stood up and I was like, oh my God. I genuinely felt like I was like, I don't know how long are you pregnant for nine months i was on the tipping point like it felt like i was just about to hit the contractions the water was ready to break my tummy was so distended i looked like a pregnant woman you know when you get really bloated do you ever just stand in the mirror like <laughs> practicing those angles for the maternity shoot i thought oh i probably just need a wee couldn't wee couldn't wee everyone has a morning wee you know there's something up when you don't go for your morning week and throughout the day it basically just got worse like my tummy was just getting more and more distended i hadn't eaten anything because i physically felt like i was about to pop it was honestly like the weirdest thing ever so i'm feeling really weak obviously because i haven't eaten but then like i don't want to eat anything but then like i'm feeling so weak that i feel like i need to eat something so i had a bowl of mushrooms and then projectile vomited them all back up Woo! i was drinking loads of th fluids throughout the day but because i was lying down i feel like they were kind of they couldn't come back up but then i was sort of drinking whilst eating my mushrooms and i walked up the stairs and just like the floodgates 
opened. You don't want to know the details of this. At one point I did think, oh my god, do I have the Rona? Is this the end for me? Like, am I going to have to self-isolate? Am I even going to be able to move in? But... It wasn't. I went downstairs and I sniffed a ranch bottle just to make sure it wasn't. I'm going to finish off doing my makeup because this has absolutely no relevance to homeware shopping. And I will see you in a bit. Also, I got accepted for a TikTok brand deal this morning. And uh, I said to my mum, oh yeah, you know, I got a TikTok brand deal. It's not the best fee, but it's good. Uh, and she goes, yeah, well, no one watches your TikToks anyway. Um, Still quite unsure on how to feel on that one i'm just gonna put my jewelry on for the day and i get loads of questions about my jewelry it's really not that interesting i wish it was more most of the stuff i get is from asos but my tip with jewelry is i say less is more not in the sense of like put less on because my fingers are literally seething with rings 24 7 buy less pieces at a time that are gold plated because i'm just I stopped buying normal sort of metal jewellery ages ago because it's just pointless. Like it literally just rusts the day after you wear it. I don't know whether to go with pearls today. Are we feeling like a Harry Styles pearls vibe with this or is that too much? I think that's too much. I think the pink and the yellow are kind of... Uh, no. Look at my little jewellery collection now. I'm so excited to move all this into my flat. Like wow. All my earrings. Oh, we love to see it. We really do. The mothership. The other mothership. If you've never been into a home sense before, you are missing out. They've got like every single colour of cushions. I feel like the Zoella in me is really coming out right now. I really thrive in homeware shops. I'm honestly in my element. Loving all the gold. You see, the thing is, see, I spoke about it. I said, I'm going for a Tuscan vision. And then I realised, oh my God, I'm moving into a new build apartment. Ooh. don't think i'm going to be able to fulfill tuscan my tuscan visions in there i think that looks like you know when you wake up and then you come downstairs into the living room realize someone's been sick on your blanket house party vibes haven't been to one of those in a while i say i haven't been to one of those in a while was never really invited to them at school sensitive topic don't want to talk about it really enjoying this little table though how sweet i'm gonna do a little rating things i found in home sense tiktok moment so let's hope Future so many of him. Now this is what I'm talking about. This will go with my, I was about to say Tuscan Vision. Oh no, is that real? Yeah. Oh for <laughs> sake. You see, right, in a bit of a predicament here because I was going, you know, to my mum. Obviously I don't want it to be real sheepskin. I'm not a murderer. I'm a dumb bitch. I didn't realise you have to kill the sheep for this bag. Like, I just thought it was sheared. We're on the candles. <laughs> is it? This is nice. Oh, that is. I bet that would kick off a lot of scent as well. We've got apple honey butter. Oh, that's a bit of me, that is. Mm -hmm. It's very autumnal. Should I get it? That's just um... I love how I'm like, I'm only buying the essentials moving into this flat to begin with. Of course yeah, we're in the candle melon. section. I really like that. I think I'm going to have to get it. Oh my god, that's amazing. I used to love melon candles. That's such a pretty colour too. They remind me of Nanny's house. She always had melon like candles burning. <laughs> you want to get this one? <laughs> Gonna get this one. Tangerine and patchouli. That's what we just smelled. Oh. Do you want to get this one? Yeah. Right. Do you want to get the tangerine and patchouli too? Because uh, that's nice. Let's smell it. Yeah, why not? Black tea and plum. What's that one like? That one in as well. Fairy in the basket. Oh, look, they've got 
black tea and plum. That is nice. Bet you never knew you needed that candle. I think I do need that. That's so nice. Oh, island guava. Grapefruit sugar cane. Tropical citrus goji berry. Floral bamboo. Okay. Do you want to put it in? Actually, I don't know. Do you not like it? See, the, my test is if I can't smell it through the mask, it's not strong enough. Oh, tropical punch. This is quite a sweet little one, too. Oh, the smell of lavender makes me want to peel my skin off, though. Quartz and grapefruit sugar cane. Look at that. So ugly. So why would you why would you do that? Such a nice smelling candle. Um, Lalique, isn't that a nice brand? Lalique is a make really beautiful makeup glass. Ooh, he's like that. That's really nice. Anna would like that actually. Should I get her one? Yeah, she can have it for her new flats. Yeah. Alright. Well, I have to say thanks for me being nice to my sister. <laughs> sandalwood. That's fair. You have smelt um, sandalwood. Ooh, nice. But masculine. Yeah. Anna would like that as well. She smells like a man. Mm -hmm. I mean, two single gals. Sometimes you've got to get your masculine energy from a candle. Yeah. Right. Oh my god, it's back. Alexa, what do I do when I'm excited by so much Tupperware selection? I'm a big fan of like the glass because yeah. they've got like a chop they've got like a chopping board on top. How convenient. Do you don't want a drink? Sure thing. It's not cool for you can get a decaf from sure. I'm about to order the best coffee order ever. So take note for next time you go to a Starbucks. How sweet is it? You don't want frozen iced tea? Nah, there ain't nothing tea about them. It's a yeah, like, yeah, it's like, it's a slush, isn't it? Tell them. I get really yeah. anxious before I order my Starbucks. <laughs> I do, I don't you know why. You feel judged. Yeah. I, yeah. I, do you know what I've so had? Are you sure? I've had some people look at me like, <laughs> yes. are you five years old? Yeah. And it's like, you haven't tried it, love. <laughs> I'm feeling a hazelnut caramel vanilla moment today. <laughs> With what? Are you hot? No. I bloody am. You're wearing a full. Gosh, you must be warm. Oh, it's only thin, this. Very thin. I tried some of my new warm truffle outside. sauce. Mmm. Is it nice? Yeah, but it's mm. left me with a very olivey. Um, mm. I tell you, I like any food at all, but I cannot deal with truffles or raw fish. Let us know below if you like truffles. I feel like they're such a divided. Do you like caviar? Oh! I've never tried it. They've got frappuccinos. I've never tried it. No, me neither. And it's something I will never try now that I'm veggie. I feel like sunshine in this top. It's very pretty. I'm trying to see if there's any other food I don't like. And I honestly don't think there is. I think I actually like everything in the world apart from truffles. And seaweed? Sushi. Mm. Not keen. That's so bizarre because I love it. The taste of the sea. And that's just wrong. When I used to eat fish, I loved the raw fish. You used to love smoked salmon, do you remember? Oh yeah, all of it. Keep it. Idiot loads of it. My issue is, is that I don't like enough foods. Like I wish I didn't like more foods. Like I'm so, I like everything, but it's just because I'm greedy. No, it's just, it's good to like everything, isn't it? It's then you're easy. I, you know, it's great. And then, you know, when you go out, you can sort of get excited about Trying um, new stuff. Everything on the menu rather than be a fussy eater. Don't like fussy eaters. No, Emma's not a fan of fussy eaters. Not a fan of fussy eaters. Or ill people. <laughs> she doesn't like ill people. <laughs> Someone's ill, she's like, oh, that's so no, dramatic. To no, it's her. no, properly ill people. Big fan of properly ill people because <laughs> there's kind of stuff they have to put up with. Don't have a problem. People who make a drama out of a crisis, not a fan of them. No. 
<laughs> people who go on about it non-stop mm. 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 <laughs> you look like a fly in those sunglasses you only got big round eyes mm -hmm. I had another lazy fly in my bedroom this morning you know when what like, else aren't you a fan of lazy flies lazy flies they are in, the in your bedroom they were landing on my face mm -hmm. as i was waking up it's just not how you want to be woken nice. up and isn't it and it's since you told me they can smell like the sugar and the salt in your skin mm -hmm. were we supposed to order back there were we no surely not i didn't see anything no i didn't either but then i am rubbish he looks like tyler Oakley. otherwise i'm just gonna have to drive around again yeah we'll just order there what else am I not a fan of? Oh, not a fan of the money I just spent on candles. I'm not a fan of the blooming face masks I just had to buy because the string pinged off mine and it's cost me a small mortgage to buy a massive pack of 50. I'm not, mm. a, I'm not a fan of um, mum jeans. Didn't you used to have some? Yep. God, I can't keep up with you. I'm all about straight leg or wide leg. Yeah, I like the wide legs. Do you like these fit these jeans? Yeah, but I like the leg. kind of I like the wide wide leg. I yeah. know, like sort of slightly art schoolish. Like Anna's. Yeah. Because she's the favourite child, of course. Fine, we get it. You don't have to rub it in my face anymore. No, I've just always liked that shape of jean before you two were even a twinkle in my eye. Ah, that's what I say. Mm. What else are you not a fan of? <laughs> Not a fan of queuing for a coffee. No, not a fan of the coffee I'm about to order not either. A fan of <laughs> not a fan of Starbucks. Coffees. Yeah, don't like Starbucks coffee actually at all. Tastes burnt. Not a fan of all about positivity here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a fan of cheap candles from Home Sense. Mm, we got some and liners. cheap picture frames. The photos. Am I playing the tags back on those? Nah. Oh, what are we supposed to order back there? Mm. Oh, shit. God, we're such newbies at this. We're, such, we're so amateur. I think we were, because look. Oh, fuck. I didn't see it though, did you? No. Should we just take the Carl Behinds coffees? Say it Hello! Good. Were we supposed to order back there? Yeah, we can take the order and then pass you up front. Okay, okay thank fam. you. Uh, can I get a medium cold brew latte with skimmed milk? Skimmed milk, yeah. And um, some pumps of sugar-free caramel and sugar-free hazelnut, please. Pin my card. The pin is... Contactless. Yeah, yeah, but I can't reach over. No, that's everything, thank you. That's really fine card isn't contactless. Isn't it? No. I try, can I just try it's it? It's not. No. <laughs> it's oh, okay. You haven't put the card in. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, thank you. Thank you. you. <laughs> Poor guy. I think you'd ever be a YouTuber. You and Howard, joint channel. I think there'd be so much business in it. For you. Yeah. These, I don't think we couldn't like fake it. Do you know what I mean? It would, it would be very real. It would be very warts and all. Yeah, I get you. Could you take the pressure? I can't take the pressure. I can't deal with it. I don't know if I could take the hate. I don't get that much. I've got more recently. I know, but you know what I'm like? Somebody only needs to slightly offend me and I feel like... <laughs> yeah. But Nam is feisty. Like you're actually, you're a pretty feisty woman. I, I didn't used to be. I think it's, it's your old age. Yeah. Oh my god, you're going to be that grandma. <laughs> my kids are going to come home from being with you and daddy for the weekend. It's, it's going to be like grandma shouted at the lady in Tesco's again today. I've never shouted. And I'll go, mum. I've never shouted at a lady in Tesco's. No, it was the Tesco only Express. Members, only members of the public, never staff. Oh god, yeah, do you want to explain? <laughs> Emma had full on beef the other day with a with just some random man on the street. With a complete stranger. Literally a complete stranger got into a full on full on argument. And then his son made him come over and apologise. Yeah, so I apologised too and it was all fine. You're the bigger person. 
Now, I think lockdown has done some very weird things to people's behaviour. I really do. I think it's really changed people's behaviour. People have been so used to oh being um, keyboard warriors and just sort of, you know, be able to say all kinds of stuff from the privacy of their own home where they can't be got at. And I think they've transferred that into daily life. And I think people have become a lot ruder. <gasps> Here it comes. Oh my god, he fancies me. It's written all over his face. <laughs> Joking. Oh. Joking. Hello. Hi. Thank you very Thank much. You so much. Thank you. Can I just take that? I'll give it to you. Okay. Maybe he fancies you. Yeah, he probably does. He looks like a boy, he I know. He likes the older, larger lady. <laughs> hey, Tass. Nailed it. Nailed it. Do you want us to sip? Go on. Oh my god. You are like this never happens. She doesn't eat, she, I feel rude saying she. Oh so rude. That's so sweet. These women don't know a good thing when they try out. And we're back. Back in the bedroom. I would pan you around, but oh my god, you do not want to see the absolute chaos that's going on my floor right now. It's like a makeup Sephora explosion. Anyway, on with the homeware. I'm also, I'm sorry I look crusty, but I mean, what's new at this point? I literally look crusty in every vlog. I obviously went to HomeSense today, but I've also um, been to a couple of other little shops. Now... Classic Flossie Clegg move, or classic Clegg move. Classic Emma and Flossie move, like, I just really am my mum, like, we are the same person. Anyway, so, I said I'm only buying the essentials, moving in, like, duvet, pillows, sheets. Do I have any sheets? No. Do I have a duvet? No. Do I have pillows? No. Do I have enough candles to last me the next two years? absolutely would we expect anything less absolutely not i mean i was once a floral instagrammer it's still in my blood what can i say although having said that we have upgraded from the yankee candles anyway i'm going to show you what i got from anthropology first um i only got a couple things from anthropology i went to anthropology like a week or so ago with my mum my dad i got this cute little mug um with an f on i'm really enjoying like black um i'm gonna have a lot of like kind of black stuff in my room i think well i say black a lot of black stuff like some little accents and then i also got this mug literally the polar opposite but i love the size of it because i have big i have big mugs, mugs of herbal tea i've literally got a herbal tea here which i bought today it's new and it's like a berry one why am i holding it so weird i never get berry herbal teas but thoroughly enjoying i thought this would be a really nice size for tea or coffee who am i getting because oh my god i drink so much coffee and then there's this place near me called um cotswold gray and i got some bowls and plates from that which i mean bowls plates mugs they're all essentials but i'm so obsessed with these like i just love them so much i think they're so gorgeous kind of like a speckledy design i really like the shape of this bowl because i eat a lot like i eat a big volume of food so this will be enough to hold Ugh, nearly burped gross it should be enough to hold all of my mushrooms because i'm the queen of mushrooms if you didn't know i eat about i'd say i eat approximately 500 600 grams of mushrooms a day you think i'm exaggerating but oh my god you should see my fridge like olivia needs to brace herself for the influx of mushrooms that will be coming into our apartment i also got this um little mug i mean it's a nice size it's smaller maybe for the days where i'm gonna be at home all day or maybe for my fifth coffee of the day and i want to tone the vibe down a little bit i'll use this oh my god i didn't realize i got so much from here it's been ages i've kind of forgotten everything i bought just got another bowl i promise i will move on to a few more interesting things another bowl like a little bit of a shallower dish and you'll never guess what another bowl a bigger one kind of shallow but a nice size so on to home sense the stuff i got today i got this tin um and i got it not for my flat because i'm not gonna lie kind of old lady vibes but well funny the reason i got it the reason i got it is because it is my nan's birthday coming up and i thought i could bake her some scones and put it in here i'm saying it because she doesn't have wi-fi so she won't be seeing this but i just think this is a tin that an old woman will appreciate she won't appreciate me calling her an old woman but I'm just digging myself in a hole anyway. Then, this is so exciting. 
Coat hangers, I know, frivolous. I got some coat hangers, these are like the sort of um, velvety ones, so the clothes don't slip. And then I got my sister a big bag of pasta. And then I also got myself some command hooks because obviously we are renting. I got another big thing of coat hangers as well. Got my nan a happy birthday card. And then onto the candles. I really saved the most exciting things till last. I know, don't say I don't spoil you guys. So I got so many candles. I spent £100 on candles. £100, like why why is that necessary like i really was thinking god flossy i can't just be spending money like i'm not paying rent anymore because i've been so lucky i've been living at home i've been living rent free obviously my parents don't make me pay rent which is really nice props to you emma and howard so i can't be affording to go and blow 100 pounds on candle every month it's just not economically viable for me um but we move i don't want to talk about it sensitive topic i got this tangerine and patchouli Oh, candle. Oh my god. Oh no. Kind of smells like one of my ex boyfriends. Oh. Regrets, maybe. And then I also got. What's this one? Mmm, peony and melon. Oh wow. Look at the wick on this one. I love these wicks. That is delicious. That smells like my nan's house because when I was like younger, she always would have like a melon candle burning. And maybe that's why I love melon so much. This is cedarwood sea salt. I think I got this for my sister. Yeah, Anna, this is coming your way. And then I got apple honey butter. Oh my God, this one in the autumn. Absolutely gorgeous. It's such a warm, cozy, but also sweet scent because I'm a sucker for all things sweet. And then this is a candle and limoncello. Oh, delicious. This smells like where I stayed in um, Cambodia. So. That is everything guys. I do hope you enjoyed this video. A little bit of a different one. Don't really usually do stuff like these, but I know I love watching them. I'm such an old woman. Like, honestly, the videos I watch on YouTube are like grandma videos, but I don't know. Here we are. Live life, breathe air, all of that. Live life, breathe air, sniff candles. Someone get that tattooed on them. I won't make you pay copyright, don't worry. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. You can subscribe if you would like to see more of me. Leave requests and comments in the comment section down below. I have all my social medias listed in the description box and most active on my Instagram. I love you all so much and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye!